Critics who said they hadn't a ghost of a chance. And DJ trying to come in for a hat trick. Cross towards Eamon Morrissey. Nice pick up here. Wanted to finish in some style. John Parr and David Hughes lets it go off his leg. It's going to be a 65. But we're well into injury time, and Eamon Cregan is back there behind the Offaly goal. It was a very menacing run once again there by DJ Carey, and just uh, for a moment there, it seemed like he was in, as in the league semi final, for a third goal. So the Bob O'Keefe Cup about to be retained by the Leinster and All Ireland champions, Offaly. Not too much doubt about that. Right now they lead by double scores, by 11 points. Pat O'Neill to lob it in. It's taken by Michael Dignan, it's all over! And Offaly are once again the Leinster champions. Champions for the ninth time in all. Denying Kilkenny a 56th title. Dohi Regan, one of the stars. And stars they certainly had. Well, Pat O'Connor got a wonder goal there in the 27th minute of the second half. Very heavy going there today, and Offaly just hurled well on today, you know. Were the conditions to your favour? Uh, them conditions don't favour anyone, you know. It's hard slogging, like, it's hard to control the ball, but overall Offaly was supposed to be a little bit better in the day. Did the first goal turn the tide for you? I, I don't think so, no. We only scored, we scored two goals, but we got a lot of points, you know, and I think that counts. John Troy, John Troy, your, what are your thoughts at the final whistle? I was just delighted that it's over, you know, just great. I knew we had it with about five minutes to go, but still, five minutes is long, you know, you know what I mean? Did you think it was going to be that easy? Well, nothing's ever easy. We didn't think it was going to be that easy. But we believed in our own ability. A lot of people, a lot of papers didn't think we were good enough last year. They're not, they didn't think we were good enough this year, but I don't know what they're going to write now. <laughs> that All-Ireland in the five minutes is only a memory. Now you've proven a point. That's right. And we have Antrim now next, and if we can get over them, we'll be back in another final. Yes, yeah, a tough, rugged struggle at Cro Likely to upset the composure of Kerry's goalkeeper, Peter O'Brien. He won an All-Ireland club medal three years ago. While in the intervening period, Cork's new goalie, Kevin O'Dwyer, also won a club championship medal. For both, it's a first Munster final. Champions Cork recall Mark Farr and Larry Tompkins. Farr steps in at cornerback in place of the unfortunate Kevin Cowie, while Larry Tompkins starts on the 40 with Joe Kavanagh at full forward. Tompkins has a near 100% record against Kerry in Munster finals. Kerry's changes from the team that breezed past Tip in the semi-final include the posting of Cork based Sean Burke to fullback, the selection of the highly talented Seamus Moynihan at centre halfback, the reintroduction of Connor Carney alongside Liam Flaherty, and the decision to start Jeannie Farrell at top of the left in place of Dara Okeneda, who's now at right 